Hi there YouTube, just a quick little video. These are my new fish. So you got three white mollies, uh, one male and two females, and two yellowy orangey ones to go into my tank. Um, so yeah, I bought these a little while ago. Um, this is how they come in the UK, along with another bag over the top. Um, so yeah. I will be uh, adding them into my tank in a sec and I'll show you how how you guys can do it. So once they're in their bag you put them in like so. Okay, let the other fish look at them and stuff like that. Right? Then what you do is you drop it in a little bit of the water uh, for about 10 seconds uh, and then you let it go back up again. All right, so I'm gonna about just about to do that. Now. There you are, the new fish. So I'm just about to show you how to do it. So this is I've just taken off the elastic band, and now I'm just about to show you. So all these are other mollies inside here. So I'm hoping that we can have some babies quite soon. So that's why I did it for. They're a little bit of a different um, size, but it don't really matter too much. So yeah, so let's do that. Right, okay. So what you do is you drop this into the water like so. Open it up a little bit. There we go, like so. So give it 10 seconds. So 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Make sure the fish don't escape. 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10. Make sure no other fish get in there. And then literally just... Put it to the side of the tank, put a clip over it if you want to, or whatever you want to do. Close it down. And just let the other fish get to know the other fish. You do this two or three times, and then you just carry it on. And then that's it, just two or three times, and then you let your fish in. But don't empty the water that's in there into the tank because that might have diseases so you've got to catch the fish um, or just let them come out as you want so there we go and that's how you do it I'll keep you informed I'll take a another one where I'm doing the next part of my video Rightio guys I've just now gave it 15 to 20 minutes so I'm now going to do another load so I'm going to put the water back in again and redo that so let's Ah, uh, lift this up like so. Sorry for the up and down there. Right, so come on, move. Right, so one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten. Lift it back up. Place back over there. And you then leave it again for another 10 to 15 minutes and then you just put them in that's how i do my fish anyway um so yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave the video now um as you see in a minute when you do the fish make sure that you put um food in for the other fish to eat because otherwise they'll attack the new fish and you don't really want that. So yeah, so I'll be back in a while. Well, sorry for the pausing and then restarting, but yeah, be back in a bit while. Okay guys, here we go. This is the last part. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed the fish as always. So excuse me just for a sec. Sorry about that. So yeah, give the guys, good. give the fish something else to think about. So give them a good feed. Right, <clears throat> like so. And what you want to do is grab this, like so, and just hold it. Sorry about my finger. Just hold it so they can swim out by themselves. But just holding 
the bag open just slightly. There you go, there's the first one out. And hopefully the other ones will just follow. The other white one's almost out. Yeah, she's out. No, nope, gone back in again. <laughs> That's it, she's out. So now I'm just waiting on these three left. Now if they keep going backwards and forwards like they are at the moment, what you can do is tip the bag at one end, like so, and just give them a little gentle pull away of the bag when they're at the edge. So, sit, the last one to go. Yeah, one. That's it. Then grab the bag. It doesn't matter about too much about this water because this water here will just be chucked away. And that's it, guys. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute. So now, once you've done that, right? All the fish are having a bit of feed. Even the new ones are having a bit of food. It don't really matter too much. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of new males in there. One new male in there. Um, to mate with the others because for some unknown reason these mollies don't seem to be mating I've got the two different colours of orange like a yellow now and an orange now which is good and then three whites just to balance it out I should really get another one black just plain black but I'm not going to worry about that too much just now so then once you've done that Add two drops of stress coat or th up to five drops of stress coat. So. Nope, that one's not. That one has nothing in it. Okay, this one does. You need to buy some more. So put it by the filter. One, two, three. And then stress coat, it just helps the new fish kind of have a little bit more uh, liquid or the substance around their one, two, three. And that's just basically gives them that extra little bit of slime that they have around their scales just to help them out. And that's pretty much it. And that's all you do for your fish. Close it down and then I'll turn on the light. And that's it. That's all you do. I have to redo that in a sec. I'll redo that in a minute. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys can do that. Now, I don't know if a couple of my fish are pregnant. I don't know if that one there is pregnant. Or that one there is pregnant. But I'm hoping that they will kind of be a bit more. This one's already had him in a go at the white one that already. I've just literally just put him in there. <laughs> so that's good. Um, I think that one will be pregnant now. I look, She looks very pregnant to me, but I can't really tell. I'm not running these ones that can really tell very well. So yeah. Um, but yeah, you got a couple of males in. I've got three males. So I've got one black, one yellow and one now white uh, against the others so yeah and then two angels two beautiful angels i prefer this one here the striped one than the other one uh that's my honest opinion though um but there we go the other one's still quite nice so yeah it's just got a splotch on the back is what i call it so yeah so there we go so this one does look pregnant um, I don't know if she is or not. So maybe you can tell me in the uh, comments below if she is or not. So yeah. 
And that's pretty much it. it she look, she looks rather big to me. So, yeah. But I'm hoping they're mate with the uh, longer towel one for something a little bit different. So, yeah. I've also got uh, two bristle nose plex in here. Um, there's one over the back. And I don't know where the other one is. Um, I can't see if he's in there or not. I can't tell. Uh, he might be over around the back somewhere. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks, guys. Thanks for learning how to do your putting your fish in and that. And I hope to catch you next time. Take care. Bye for now.